Hello and welcome to today's video. So, there's some interesting things. I looked up Overwatch League a little bit uh, right before, or right during the finals. Right during the finals I looked up Overwatch League because they had announced some skins uh, that were coming out for the All-Star game. There was a Genji and Tracer skin. They announced it during halftime. And I looked up Overwatch. They trying to find a picture of the skin. And there was uh, a new team. <laughs> Another new team was uh, announced. So this one here is going to be in Atlanta. So there's going to be another new team. So that's the third team that got announced. So that means that there's three more. They can be announced between now and probably, um, when is that? I don't remember exactly. Let me see real quick. Because I know that there's a cutoff date. What is this? I have like 10 Overwatch League tabs marked. That was about Brigitte. I'm looking for one about contracts. Yeah. You want to build a new roster? This is the one I want. All right, so August 1st is when contract negotiations begin. So when is that? That is on Wednesday. September 9th, the inaugural season officially ends. And all the players that don't have a contract with the team are free agents. So between September 9th and October 7th, expansion teams can sign. So I'm assuming they want to get these deals finalized before September. So that is when it's going to happen. So all the teams currently, they can resign all their players, but whoever isn't resigned or isn't ranked or in contenders, isn't signed to a team, can be signed by Paris, Guangzhou, Atlanta, and whatever other three teams can add to the Overwatch League. So Cox Enterprises, which I think they do like something technology. Isn't they do internet? I think it's internet. Uh... Oh, it owns Cox Communications, Cox Media Group, Kelly Blue Book, Auto Trader, Atlanta Journal Constitution, which I'm assuming is a newspaper. They made over $20 billion in revenue. The Cox family is the fifth richest family in the United States in 2016. And the total over $41 billion. They're the second major conglomerate to fund an Overwatch League franchise. Comcast owns the Philadelphia Fusion. Interesting. So they've been trying to get a lot of the richest people to own a team. Uh, obviously, Craft Group owning the Uprising and uh, the Mets, one of their things, Sterling, it says. And then VC with the Los Angeles Rams, Denver Nuggets, so uh, all that stuff, I guess. Yeah, so there's a lot of different teams. Uh, and Atlanta team is very interesting. Uh, of course, they have other Atlanta sports teams, the Falcons, the Braves. So, it fits right in. There are a lot of these. They're not making teams. The cities don't have really they don't have teams already. So, there's other sports. Again, I'd still like to see a Seattle team. But I know their goal is to get a lot of teams in Europe and a couple more in Asia Pacific. Uh, whether that's in China, Japan, or Australia, maybe. Because it said Asia Pacific. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't have a team in Japan. Because they don't have one there. Obviously, the thing that I said in the last video was that there was talks they didn't want to have another Korean team. They're trying to keep it at one with Seoul Dynasty. But I don't know. Their, their whole thing trying to sell cities and <laughs> having another team in China. I guess it sells well in the Chinese market because there's a billion people in China. <laughs> but internationally, Guangzhou maybe won't sell that well. But in China, since there's so many people. Uh, compared to selling another team from Korea, which probably wouldn't sell as well uh, in the, just in Korea itself, because they already have Seoul Dynasty. But that's not really what we're talking about. Uh, where they could put other teams, there's three slots left. They're trying to get six new teams. That's what it says here. They're trying to get six. So these teams, the new expansion teams will sell for 30 to $60 million. Um... Again, that depends on how many people are bidding to own the team in that city. 
the player density of Overwatch players in that city and the general population of each city. The inaugural 12 teams cost $20 million. Yeah, it says that the league wants to add six new franchises across North America, Europe, and Asia, Oceania <laughs> for season two. Uh, I'll just say Asia Pacific. But North America, they're going to have a lot of teams. But adding two new international teams, I think, is pretty good. And we'll see. We'll see what else they have. Obviously, Atlanta being here. So there's three more cities left. I said I want to see one in Seattle and Moscow in the last episode. Maybe they could one in Tokyo. Those are my three picks for cities. Seattle, Moscow, and Tokyo. <laughs> uh, Seattle, because I think it's a very popular city and trying to get sports teams there in America. Moscow, just because Casey wants a team there. <laughs> he wants a Russian team. And then Tokyo, because I think they could put a team in Japan. Why not? Why don't they have one already? <laughs> Those are my three picks. Comment down below what cities you guys want to see Overwatch League teams in. And comment what you think about Atlanta having a team. I think Atlanta's a very interesting city, though, to have a team in. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next one.